This is in fact my own skull, or at least it's a cast of my skull based on scans of my head and then built using a process called stereolithography. And it's a very odd object to have, to be looking at your own skull. It is a reminder of death, a uh, memento mori. But it also reminds me how fantastic bone is. It's a wonderful, wonderful material. It is very, very tough, very strong and very stiff. And it owes its properties to the fact that it's a composite. It's got protein in it, but it's also got mineral. And that mineral is appetite, a form of calcium phosphate. Appetite is a really amazing mineral. It exists in different forms in bone and in teeth. And because it contains calcium, it also means that bones are a fantastic calcium reservoir for your body. So if your blood calcium levels drop, you can unlock calcium from your bones. You might think that once you'd grown to adult size, your bones were completely inert and they just sat there in your body, but not at all. They're constantly being broken down and being remade. So there are cells gnawing away and cells creating new bone. So then in fact, your whole skeleton is replaced every five to 10 years. When you take an X-ray of a skull, it's just because of the mineral it contains that you can see the skull on the X-ray. The densest parts of the bone will block out the X-rays and appear white on the film. The whitest part of all, the densest part, is here on the base of the skull and this is the area called the petrous temporal bone. It's incredibly dense because it needs to be for particular acoustic properties, because this is where the workings of your inner ear are housed. So appetite is wonderful during life, but actually it's really important after death as well, because it sticks around. So long after our soft tissues have decayed away and the protein in the bone has been replaced by calcium carbonate, for instance, the appetite is still there too. So our bones persist as mineral in the earth. And that means that we can find fossils of our ancestors. So this skull is a cast of an individual known as Nerikotomi boy. And he belongs to the species Homo agaster or African Homo erectus. And we know an awful lot about him because actually as well as his skull, we've got quite a bit of his skeleton as well. So we know that he was about eight years old when he died. We know that he had a body built for running. We know that he was just over five foot tall and that he had a brain capacity of about 750 millilitres. Now we wouldn't have known any of those things if his skeleton hadn't been preserved. And that wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been made of appetite in the first place. So that is why my favourite element is calcium.